Drone delivery may be closer to reality than you actually think. Amazon has, of course, been testing in England, but there is one local company testing it all out right here in the tri-state. And only Evan Millward and Sky9 show us how it works and what the future of home delivery may just be. It looks like any other delivery truck. But the roof reveals its secrets. People should not be afraid of drone delivery. It is, uh, it's very safe. At least that's what Workhorse is setting out to prove. Its vision of drone delivery is a little different. So the idea is that the drone is an assistant to the driver. We flew Sky 9 along with this test flight Thursday. Workhorse calls this horse fly. Once loaded, it soars to its destination autonomously. It can lower a package from 15 feet at a location you set. Workhorse says it's a time saver. While a delivery driver was out dropping off packages nearby, Horsefly could go to an address farther away. And it's a cost saver. From a standard delivery truck, it takes about a dollar a mile to deliver a package. Um, with the electric truck, it's about 34 cents a mile. With uh, the drone, it's about four cents a mile to deliver your package. Jeffrey Bennett has worked on Horsefly since he was a co-op at UC. Yeah, it's my baby. And not yeah. just his. There is now a team of 12. Is this realistic? This is realistic. Uh, we are testing every day, five days a week, just to see what these real world applications are going to be like. All born here in a nondescript warehouse in Lovell. Its weekly tests have to happen in neighborhoods with low trees and no big power lines. When Workhorse started its testing a little more than a month ago, they had 40 people signed up. But as people have seen these drones in their neighborhood, they're now up to 55 and they still have a little more than a month to go. Our immediate response was we want to be a partner. The city of Loveland has a stake too, helping Workhorse get things through the Federal Aviation Administration. The upside. We're hopeful for being promoted as a progressive community that supports technology. And of course, there's an app for that. So customers can add an address. It's where you set that drop off point and track the drone in real time. If we can land on top of the truck and deliver the packages in 23 mile an hour wind, rain, snow or shine, then we'll consider that a success. It will only be a matter of time. Above Loveland, I'm Evan Miller, nine on your side.